Hello and welcome to the Coke 300, <laughs> or uh, so it is named, I guess, because this is our Coca-Cola 600 equivalent. Half the distance as the real thing, but still quite an endurance race for us. It'll be the longest race of the season, and here, the Diet Dr. Pepper series. Gen 4, of course, and it is Legacy Charlotte. To fit for the era so we're gonna jump out and do some qualifying here um, I'm thinking I'll kind of just keep it steady on lap one I'll just keep it steady on lap one and then maybe push a little harder lap two I think lap two will be better but I don't want to go too crazy and uh, go too soft on lap one in case I get loose, hit the wall, etc. So, uh, we'll see, we'll see. Easier on lap one, but still try to get a solid-ish time. I think I just really want to focus on... not uh, killing my tires too much. Let's see where that brings me. So that's looking like it'll be an okay time. It seems like the track is a little tiny bit slower than what I was practicing at. Alright, pretty decent 1 and 2, not my best, but definitely pretty close. Alright, I'm, I'm satisfied with that. Pretty close to my best. 5-5-8, five, five, I'm in the 5, so I'm, I'm pretty happy. Gracie had the best lap in uh, practice. So we'll see where he ends up. Probably going to give us a good run for it. But uh, that felt pretty good. I was able to keep it steady. And get a good lap in, so. Oh, people keep laying the praise on me. I assume he's talking about me. That makes... Uh, Makes me feel nervous, <laughs> people looking at me too much. I'm not really one for people to look at me, but I've just gotten kind of lucky a couple of these races. Like the fuel mileage race that I ended up winning at uh, wherever the heck it was, Las Vegas, was it? I don't remember. Um, that easily could have not have worked. That was one of the wins, and um, I've been very fortunate to be able to qualify well and get track position. And uh, there's just so many good fast guys in here. He says, nice lap. Say, uh, good lap to him, too. He gets P2, it looks like. And uh, we've still got a couple guys going. Caden gets a really good lap. Wesley still has stuff to go. He looks like he's the last one of the guys that are actually here. Has he got any laps in? He's got at least one. And lap two, I think, is the faster one, so we'll see how high he jumps. Right now looking pretty good, though. I'm not so sure I'm going to be able to save tires like I need to in this one, though. I'm a little uncertain. I feel like I have a tendency to overdrive uh, entry here at Charlotte. It's kind of, it's a pretty tight race car, so I'm not convinced I'll be able to, you know, work around that and keep the thing rotating. But I'm, I'm going to keep it in mind. I'm going to try. I just realized I don't have my race lab up. I like having that up. So pardon me for a second. While I do that, I don't think you'll even be able to see a difference in anything, but I'm going to take That's a moment. Pole position. Well done, mate. 
to get that set up. And uh, it looks like we did get the pole. All right. And then we're going to do a uh, practice green flag pit stop. Because this league has been so awesome and full of green, clean racing. We might need it. Hayden gets that P3 practice paid off. Um, thank you to... Where is he? I want to find him. There's Chad. Thank you to Chad for host, hosting a practice session before this. Really kind of him. Um, I know Caden was in there and that practice paid off. It looks like he gets a really great P3 starting position. So we'll do the practice pit stop I said I'd do. And I'm going to keep rolling on the camera because it could be entertaining if I mess it up. <laughs> uh, I'm going to get my... Uh, do I want to go negative three? I'm going to keep it at zero, and here's why. I want to get as much rotation as possible. So, maybe 57% break bias would be nice. But, I don't think it's going to make enough of a difference that how, how much more sketchy it is on a green flag pit stop is worth it. Because what I've noticed is... I'm having trouble breaking hard entering the pits with at 57 compared to 60. It's a minor difference, but I feel like I've been more likely to mess that up when I'm at 57% uh, compared to 60, so. We will do one more lap, I guess. Now we'll, we'll do it now, since it's up there. Just done a right. Pretty good, good with that. I guess we'll just go ahead and roll on through. Practice exiting the pit quickly. And uh, do another one if we have time. Only three minutes though in the warm up. There's Mitch in his Reese's vehicle. I guess I would be in first gear if I were to be practicing my pit exit so that I didn't really have. Mitch just getting up to speed, not worried about the black flag. He's probably hurrying up and trying to do a uh, green flag stop to do some practice. 23 seconds. We may or may not have time to get around to the other side, so we'll just do it again here. See, so, yeah, I'm feeling better. Whoa! <laughs> Elite. Coming in hot. I wonder if he was able to slow it down enough. Pit box team, ten. <laughs> Made me nervous though. I did that uh, Casey Kane thing. I think it was Casey Kane. He got penalized one time because he had to speed up so he didn't get hit by a guy that was doing something similar to that in real life. And that was kind of like a controversial thing because it's like, what am I supposed to let him plow into the back of me? I think that was Casey Kane that did that. But either way, grid time. We're going to jump into it. 200 laps here. We're going to be here for a while. At the Coca-Cola 300. I'm looking forward to it. The tire saving is going to be important. And uh, I'm going to see how many laps we can go on a full tank. Make sure this is all correct. It is. Get in the car. 45.6. You'll be lining up on the inside. Pit road is closed right now. Shane must have requested an EOL penalty to start at the back. It's my only explanation for that one. I don't know why else he would get a penalty. I didn't see anything he did. You have five left all of tires during this race. Have a good race. Pole position. The track temp is Session last yeah, lap. 74 Imagine it's gonna be Imagine it's gonna be a second gear start. That's what the Arca car was. Stay behind the pace car. Though these cars are similar, but very much not the same. Yeah, we're gonna do second gear. And we're gonna save fuel as well. If I could stretch this. You could eliminate a pit stop. It could be very interesting. Yeah, good luck. I'm going to keep tabs on that. 
So we're going to do big lifts, lift offs. Good luck, everybody. And hopefully that'll save me from killing my tires anyway. Yeah, good luck, everybody. Either way, we're going as far as we can is the plan, and then we'll adjust our plan from there. If we can make it to, like, 46, maybe there's something to it. I don't know. Nah, you would have to make it to 50. Get ready, going yeah. green. That's a lot to ask, I think, but... Okay, right, car is off. Nice neat. Stay out of trouble. Green flag, green flag. Bit of a wobbly start, but we get it going. These tires are quite treacherous while cold. So I'm going to have to watch out for that. John already gone from 4th to 2nd. He's had a great start. Big liftoffs. As was the plan. And we're underway. Hopefully we have ourselves a really fun, clean race. And uh, I'm going to try to keep the heart rate down a little bit, relax. Get some laps in, because we're going to be here for a minute. Pretend like I belong for a while. Maybe minimize some mistakes just by staying focused and not uh, all crazy up on the wheel and stuff. Kind of using the end of the dotted lines as my liftoff point. One and two, and then just at the black box advertisement down here for turn three, right before that monster sign. Am I killing my tires? I don't know, probably. Like I said, I'm not entirely too confident. my ability to save tires here. I'm going to try to get down close to that white line. I think you can get some good rotation down there. However, with the amount of power this car has, you don't want to overdo that. You could end up pretty darn loose with the race car, so I'm not going to try to overdo the rotation either. I'm just going to try to be disciplined with my throttle pedal all throughout the corner. And we'll check in on that fuel once in a while to see if there's anything to making it to lap 50. I doubt it. That's quite a few laps to save. But maybe not impossible. We'll see. Maybe the pace will slow down as time goes on. And that'll save us more fuel than what's currently being estimated, which is an estimated of about 40 laps from here. So, let's see, when we're at the line, we have about 46.3. Oh kind of a, a decent bit of rotation down at the bottom. Don't want to overdo that and end up getting the car sideways or anything. Not too sideways. Yawed, maybe. Sideways. Make sure I'm maximizing my corners. Make that I start my corner right by the wall. 
really important to get that good angle into the corner. The less you turn the steering wheel, the better. And we've got nine laps done. Ooh, I'm a little too low. Just getting a little bit too close to that white line. I kind of had to course correct just a little bit. Getting a little looser, maybe. We got a nice uh, seven, eight tenths gap to second, though. Which, again, probably just means I'm overdriving. But it feels good for now. Yellow walls here are always interesting to me. Legacy Charlotte. Turned them back to a more standard color later. They're white, I believe, with blue line at the bottom is how they are modern. Sorry, the boring white walls instead of the fun lemon walls. What if there's a story as to why they made the walls yellow? I don't know the story if there is one. But it is pretty interesting. Gavin mentioned that uh, there's rain in the area for this session, and so that's why after uh, practice, after qualifying, the track was wiped clean. We're getting sporadic showers. Obviously, that's not a real thing in iRacing yet. Yet, keyword. But, uh, oh my gosh, I'm being called. Phone's going crazy. Oh, that's not, uh, it's not a phone call, it's a Amber Alert. Getting a lot of those lately, that's very sad. But, I thought I was getting a phone call. The phone started vibrating. What was I saying again? I'm oh, sorry, that was distracting. Oh yeah, the rain, so the track was uh, wiped clean for qualifying and everything. And uh, we don't actually have that yet, but that's an interesting little thing added here. Gavin's been kind of looking back at the real-life events of the season that he's basing this season off of, early 2000s. And uh, I'm sure the real thing probably had some sporadic showers and things. That's why he's uh, he decided to do that. So that's a really cool touch that he's been doing. Like at, uh, I think it was Richmond, he did the tire sh shortage. Also based on real events, as far as I know. So that's fun. Very cool series, very fun league. If you like being a part of it. Much thanks to him for putting it on. Always wanted the Gen 4 car here on iRacing. I think a whole lot of us did. Now we kind of have it. We've got the Arca car with a pretty good engine in it, at least. Maybe not uh, exactly a Gen 4 car, but it's still pretty darn fun. And uh, presumably, a more authentic Gen 4 car is on the way. It's awesome. So we got ourselves a 1.2 second lead. Anytime something like that's happening, I'm like, there's something's wrong here. <laughs> this can't be right. Like, I'm gonna fall off a cliff with the tires or something. But we're, uh, we're approaching halfway through this run. Right now the tires are feeling great. Maybe getting a little tight in 3 and 4, I might start breaking a little bit into 3. And I think I will, because that corner I got tight, and that issue is only going to snowball onto it itself if I don't do anything about it. So, 
I think I'm going to use a little bit of break into turn three, starting now. And hopefully uh, get in front of that problem before it gets worse. Still got it a little bit there. So maybe even, a, even just a little bit more. Thanks, Frank. No problem, man. Oh, that stinks. Zach is, uh, has to leave. I saw him maybe on the, on the apron a second ago. Get a good the run on my that stinks. Yeah, right, I'm just kind of waiting around. What's he mean, work called him in? This is our job. We're race car drivers. What's that all about? <laughs> Thanks, Rick. Back at you, buddy. Friendly discourse happening back there. Hi, oh, you're welcome. Tracy has taken P2 from John, it looks like. Zach off to do real life. Who cares about that stuff? <laughs> but that's too bad for him. See him next time. One and a half seconds back to Tracy. But I'm going to have to keep an eye on that because he's been moving forward. So that could mean he's in a good spot with his tires. Twenty-four, forty. You know what? We're getting close to getting to 50 laps. That's very interesting to me. If we can eliminate... An entire pit stop from this by going 50, 100, 150. That would be huge. Should I be looking more into that possibility? Probably. The pace is naturally slowing, though. 23. Uh, we're still not quite there. I don't know. I really don't. Okay, Colton. You've used half your fuel. Your fuel. Big lift offs. Maybe instead of braking into turn three, we lift off earlier. We'll see if that gets us anything. Come on, Shane. Two and a half. That was a thirty-one point five. Yeah, no kidding. I got snappy loose all of a sudden. I also don't want to, like, I bad, put half effort into maybe saving fuel. I think it was me. And then fuel. pitting anyway for it not to pay off, because that's just going to have been wasted time then. Up lap time was 31.5. Lots of rotation center of the corner. I'm having to be very careful with the uh, throttle pedal. Gap to Edda behind is now 1.3 seconds. Tracy potentially catching 1.3 back. Always a potential for cautions too. So that's interesting as well. Yeah, I think my right rear just checked out. Okay, Colton. You've got that guy's getting loose. Shane says the right rear has been hard on him. You can definitely see that. Like I said it's wanting yeah, to rotate a whole lot. Mid corner, which is good so long as you don't over throttle it. Yeah, the first one of the races is usually the hardest to do. 
It's really binding up in three and four. I can feel it. Tracy gaining another tenth back to us. Just really focus on making sure the car goes right by that white line. Two seconds back to third. It's nice. It seems like we're gaining there. Yeah, we're short on making it to 50. We'll just go as long as we can this run, I guess. And then maybe later we'll decide if we have enough, enough cushion to uh, start just looking for more. I don't know. It's a tough decision. I like it, though. I like having to make this call. That's also presuming... We go green all the way. Thank you, man. Try to be careful. You're blinking quite a bit. Yeah, I'm blinking again. Yeah, I noticed that. He was doing that last time, I think. JC uh, a second back now. He's been doing better with saving his tires. Okay, yes, I'm thinking he's probably not caring at all about his. Uh, it's fuel usage, rather. That might be something that's holding me back a little bit, because I'm still lifting early into three. I'm really being conscious about how much throttle I'm using. Which I am doing anyway, to be clear. For the sake of not getting this thing sideways, but... Kind of overdoing it a little bit, just in case. It can help us go an extra lap or two. We're uh, going to go all the way to running this thing dry, I think. It's within a second now. There. Ooh, got really sideways mid-corner. Lots of rotation, a little bit too much for my comfort. Thirteen laps, seven. Quite a bit. Looks like we're making it to about forty-seven. Full three laps short. A 50. I don't know, do we like clutch? Hope I like that idea. If I had clutched into that corner, I ended up going through faster than last lap. Sorry, I'm trying to let you by. That's okay. Ooh, that was not good. I overdrove that. Trying to clutch it. I'm trying to do too much. Probably need to just focus on hit my marks rather than doing all that. thing is, if I were to want to eliminate an entire pit stop, I would have to make it 50 laps every run, which just does not seem feasible to me. Not if I want to be keeping all my track position. But is it worth it if guys, maybe in the middle or back, if they're going to try to yeah, save fuel, that might really work for them. 
I'm very interested to see how this works out. It'll be a lot of fun. Stretch us all the way to the end of uh, the sure. tank, though. No problem. Like I said, get as much as I can out of it. We've got an ex. We have to execute a clean green flag pit stop as well. How's that going to work out? I don't know. Hopefully well. This car's looser than it was earlier, though, in the run. So I hope I don't end up putting myself sideways. Kind of heading into the pits. I cannot miss it. I cannot miss the pits if I'm going to be running it all the way empty. Usually I like to leave an extra lap, but with how close it is, I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to go the very last possible minute. It's dangerous. Four pitting, four car pitting. It might be necessary, so I'm going to go for it. Seven and a half. More laps. You've just done a 31.8. Did we to get a caution from someone trying to get on pit road? Could happen. But this league has been so remarkably clean. 83 pit in the time. Thank you. I just realized I didn't see Nick in here today. He was not feeling well, and I'm sure he wasn't feeling well enough to do the longest race of the season here. So that's a bummer. I hope he feels better soon. Nick Neven. Who I'm referring to. Unless he isn't here and I just missed his name, which is possible. A list of about 40 names, it's easy to miss somebody. But he's just catching me, 0. 0.6 behind. Your lap time was 31.8. You've got about five laps of fuel. Five laps of fuel. We got another. We got Bryce heading down another time. I wonder if he sped. Very unfortunate if that is indeed what happened. Either way, not a good idea. Not a great thing if you're uh, going down the pits twice, presumably. Not a good situation to be in. Two minutes of fuel remaining. Twenty-nine pitting. Pitting. More and more people calling it out. Calling out the pits. Close to it ourselves. That was almost a disaster, holy crap. Almost disaster. I'm not sure what that was. Very stupid. See a lot of smoke, that might have been it. Might have been the near disaster. Two laps of fuel left. One loss which could have damage. Great. You got Wesley. Tracy went into the pits. They're going to gain on us, but there's a lot of laps to go, so I'm okay with going long here. 20 pit in the time. Gonna have to pit here. Lap time's pretty consistent. All right, Colton. Very little fuel left. Coming to the pits at the end of this lap. Got to pit now. Oh, the tires calling out to us. Interesting. 85 pitting this time. 
kicking and pitting same time as me. Yeah, you wasn't messing around, kid. A little easy, but that's fine. Better easy than hard, I guess. Entering pits. Pit box team. Ten. Five. Three. Two. One. Right here. Okay. 4849. We will share that. I think both my tires are worn than most other guys, based on what I've seen. All clear, punch it. There's traffic on the exit, keep it tight. Trying to be aggressive, I think it'll just hurt me though. It more harm than good. Dirty pit. Team gained a little bit on me, it looks like, so maybe not the fastest pit. Stop, but that's okay. The leader, Sean, is pitting. Header is now in the lead. We might have guys that made it to 50. Very interesting. Why is he so shallow? It's not by the wall. A little scary. Able to avoid that though, we're good. Still gotta save tires this run too. So, can't get too crazy. Start hitting fast laps or anything. Got a couple of guys that made it to 50. Man, I, I'm really excited to see how that works out. I'm really excited because they got to make it 50. Every run. Or wait, I think they those guys... Okay, no, never mind. Full of nonsense. They pit. They undercut. So that's why they're ahead of us. I don't think there is anybody that's still out. Inside of the four. Keep low. I'll play how it goes. Still there, hold your line. Really lift off because of shallow Keep entry. High. Found him. Ends right on our tail. Wesley up there. Hit on lap 41. You're now in third. Three. Bryce here. I think it's Bryce. I think I recognize the scheme. Can't look at the names though right now. The car outside. Keep low. Clear. Blocking us. Patient on the throttle, and then get by him on exit. The car outside. Still there. Noose ahead. Raymond. Caught my eye. Keep uh, getting a shallow entry and a three. Catching him at a bit of an un unlucky time, but I think that's better than uh, catching them on an exit, at least. So Tracy's got the two-lap undercut. 
see him up there. Pretty loose on the white line. Good though. Almost got too far up the track. We'll see uh, if our two lap fresher tires make much of a difference. Right now, his undercuts worked out for him quite well. He's, uh, he's got a two second lead now. At the very least, I hope it means that at the end of this run, he's not going to have much better tires like he did last time. Keep pushing up out of four. It's making me nervous. I gotta take it easy, I think. Really don't want to hit that wall. It's only, it only takes once, and you can mess your car up for the rest of the race. And then you're essentially out of it. Out of contention. Ian's been following us. Without much trouble, it seems like. Catching up to Tracy, he is now at 1.4. We'll get around the lap car of Frank. We'll have to do that as well here coming up. I'll give it to you in one gap. Gaining on Ian all of a sudden. Just a bit. Wow, we caught him quick on exit. That was a little scary. Clear high. I think Ian caught him at a bad time on exit, maybe. It looked like he was side by side with him on exit. Probably the worst time to catch somebody unless they're in your lane in the middle of the corner or something. Got 0.7 now to Ian back there. We are on equal tires. Feeling okay about that. So now I'm catching up to Tracy rather than the other way around. That feels nice, but I wonder if my worse ability to save tires means we're going to end up on equal tire by the end of this run. I guess I just got to hope that I'm past him by then, huh? The undercut might have worked for him pretty well. We'll see how this uh, shapes up. Shapes up, shapes out. Shapes above, shapes below. Whatever preposition you want to add to shapes. Hands already hurting, that's not good. It's lap 65 of 200. Get red blocking on lap. Blocking? Is that what I heard? Just 
interesting. Hopefully no one's doing anything too wild. It would be great to not have any wrecks. Car's actually getting loose. Quite, quite loose. Looser than the first run even, maybe. Could be I'm pushing on exit more this run than I was the first run. I don't know. Just something I'm noticing. Still gaining on Tracy, though. The next car's the leader. This car's the leader. Thank you for finally letting me know, crew chief. Go ahead, Al. That lap was at 31.2. Okay, Colton. Lap time's pretty consistent. Lane shifting from the lap car ahead. Hopefully it'll go high here for me. Car outside. Clear outside. Does. Works out very well for us. Really didn't lose any time making that overtake. We'll have to get around Tracy this time. Wonder how we go about doing that. Probably just like how the other guys went, I guess. Try to get him on exit. Starting to get that little bit of push in three and four now. So I'm gonna start backing up that corner like I did last run. Definitely feel like the car's looser this run than it was last run. It's looking like about lap 94-ish. Gonna be coming in again. Kinda glad I didn't go all the way in on 50 thing. I just feel like you would have to save too much and be moving too slow. I think, oh man, okay. That scared me a little bit. I just feel like that would be um, a little bit too much to ask. Lose too much time over such a long race like this. I think we're evening out with Tracy. That's probably not good for us. Now well, we gained another tenth there. Now it's back to point five again. So really evening out, kind of like I was suspecting it might. Go low here. Hopefully, he will high for us. Yes. Outside. Clear. Okay. Well done. Time lost. Two sideways there. I guess he got a little sideways on exit, I think. Might have broke his momentum out of the corner. Just a tiny bit. This got a little bit loose in the quad over. That was a little curious. Gonna have to think about that now. 
Wow, yeah, the car's definitely looser this run out than it was before. I don't know if track conditions are changing. Ooh, did Chris get the ball there? I don't know if track conditions are changing. If I just pushed a little harder this run, middle and exit, and so I got on that right rear more. I don't know which it is. The handling has gone more oversteer than last run. I think it might be the same story for Tracy. It feels like he's getting more yawed out in recent laps. Fighting looser conditions. But I can't say for certain what he's feeling. It's kind of going off of what I'm seeing visually. And that's uh, his car yawed out a little bit more on the exits. Unless my mind is just playing tricks on me, which is always possible. Ian's back there at point eight, so he's been holding steady as well. We've kind of stopped gaining on Tracy, I think. He's been better on these long runs. All right, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. No, he seems like he's getting a little looser. It's not really slowing him down, I don't think. Got some more lap traffic coming up. That's P24 and 25. Gonna move to using brake in three and four. Had been lifting earlier because of the first run I was thinking about saving fuel, but I think what I actually want to do is keep the same liftoff point, just adding a little bit of brake to it. Probably should have been doing that this whole run. I think that's the better way to do it rather than the extra early liftoff. Point four ahead, point eight behind. We have ourselves a really good race going. Come to about fourteen laps of fuel. You get real loose there. I don't think it made him much slower, though. He's just wheeling it. His pit strategy really worked out better for him. It's looking like right now. Wesley pitting in. He's going to be the first taker, I think, 58, hitting through this time. next round of stops. Sky sure looks like it's trying to rain. Been cloudy overcast this whole time. corner a little bit. It's because I had to enter a little shallower. Not his fault, obviously. Car outside. Go low. Clear up top. Mm. 
Got on the throttle a little too hard. Oh man, a caution. I didn't want that. Well, we'll put fuel in it. We'll put tires on it. No green flag pit stop to be had here. Have to divide the next stop into three. You guys couldn't have done that like a half a lap sooner. Oh no. Gavin Pitt, that stinks. Guys like Wesley too definitely did not want to see that. The leader, header, is pitting. Look out for the pit speed limit. We'll need to stop again. Pit boxing in. Pit behind him, so. I want to get right up on him. Three, two, one. Right here. Too far back. Gosh. Great. 66, 63. Gavin, did you clear black flag? I'll clear him on Not the restart. A great stop. Move it, move it. Almost got him, though. I tried. <laughs> All right, so. Should you clear for someone that speeds on pit road? I, I didn't speed that lap car. I guess I beat him by to the cone. I guess. All right, that's a fair one. That's a norm. Yeah, that's fine. Catch up. Yeah, I got hit for one because the car that's supposed to be in front of me was doing. Catch the speed limit, catch it to the group, and I got caught. We'll say fuel, never know. It's open. I don't know why we're never in a hurry to get around to the pace car. Yeah, that is a little annoying. Yeah, I'm not sure either. So, when are we going to go green? Two to green now. That means we get to the line here, complete a seven, eight, so pardon me while I do some math. 12, 112. We're gonna do 112 divided by three is what we're doing right now. So hopefully I don't crash into somebody while I'm getting my calculator out. Come on, calculator. Okay, 112. Divisible by three. So we're going to pit about lap 37. Not lap 37, obviously. 37 laps into this run. So now I'm going to do... It's 88 plus 37. Since I already have the calculator here, I will eliminate any chance of human error. Eight. Thirty-seven, one twenty-five. So, if I did everything correct, optimal pit time should be lap one twenty-five. Got shorter runs now, which means I can push a little bit harder. If we take that strategy to the end. Okay, Colton, get ready. One twenty-five is the plan. Good stuff. All right. Still almost a full fuel run, so can't go too crazy. See what we can do. It's definitely two more stops to the end. No one's going to be able to make it on one stop. It's way too far to take it. Yeah, can you clear? Oh boy, a lot of people just got their black flags cleared. There's a Thank lot of again. black flags. Interesting. Hopefully no one's taking advantage of that. And uh, getting a legitimate one cleared. Green, 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 let's go. I think I'm behind. 
Decent run. Thankfully, he doesn't get too much of an advantage on us. Tried to get a run on him. Not quite. What can we do here? Low, get a run. We will indeed. It's gonna let us go. All right. Interesting. Hey Bryce, I got a pit this time by. Feels nice to be back here. How much will it stick? I don't know. Can we get the fastest lap? That'd be cool. Probably should try that later, though. But I feel more comfortable going harder this time, just because we have a less distance to go. Because of our math mathematics. Mathematics. No pressure. I thought I saw a pretty tat. Thank you. I'm a mathematician. Sorry. It's having fun. Oh, something happened to Tracy? He suddenly, uh, almost a second back. I see Mitch out of nowhere. There he is. Must have gained a couple spots. Be up there in P2. These rains hold off, am I right? It's freaking foggy out, it looks like, almost. Got the ghosts moving in. Oh, look at the weird now. It's being a weird, I took that corner weird. It's not necessarily fast. That was at 30.1. Too low. That. Uh, didn't get the right angle. Didn't get the correct angle. We're not at Indianapolis. Don't need to go at right angles. Sorry about that, George. We're just going to get as much gap as we can, since we're going to be pitting earlier. Not kill the tires, but use them. Get the most of them that we can. I can definitely tell Mitch is pushing a little bit harder. Last lap time was at He's keeping up with us. Angle again. I'm missing my marks. i got to refocus. Wasn't good either. Falling apart, man. The lap time was 
Delta, 30.4. That's better. You can see how much better the exit was there. It was slower, but I liked how that felt better, and it's probably better on the tires. It feels more stable as well than what I had done. Sorry, Nick, I got a little loose. I've fallen off no, more. You're all more. Good, man. I think I'm just missing my spots. I don't think it's the tires already giving up on us. I am not liking how I'm taking three and four all of a sudden. I can do better than that. Your lap time was eight, 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 six. That guy's making saves. Presumably they're getting sideways in order to need to make a save. We could get ourselves another caution if that happens at the wrong time. No, that was a better three and four. Wow, I think I gotta keep right. it closer to the bottom of the track. Time was Take it down here, Ian. I know you guys are faster than me on the long run. I think I gotta get closer to my old friend the white line down here. I think I've gotten away from keeping it low like that. I need to reestablish that rule for myself. Mitch at point nine now. He's lost a couple tenths. Looks like gain him back though if I have more bad corners. Kind of getting tunnel vision. I gotta keep focused. These long races like this, you kind of get dazed a little bit. It's hard to to describe, but kind of you might be familiar like driving at night. You kind of get highway hypnosis. It's almost kind of like that. It's easy to kind of lose yourself. I don't want to do that. I want to stay focused. Make sure I'm giving it my every best every lap this leave out of it I wonder what happened to him no he didn't like that caution I wonder if something else happened too it's too bad you can see that your last lap time was at 31.1 Behind is now Still a little bit to go until 125, our planned pit time. I wonder if Mitch had a moment there where he all of a sudden gained a couple tenths on him. That suggests to me he might have had a moment. Tied up near the wall or get loose, losing him a couple tenths. Very, very easy to do. That's exactly what I'm trying to prevent myself from doing. Even as this thing does lose grip. Starting to get a push in three and four. 
Kill the 83, I'll give it to you here. Take it. That last lap was at 31.4. Thank you. No problem, man. Give me just a little bit of break now. End of three. Seems about that time. Just a tiny bit. All right, push you up a little. For now. You're good. I was gonna give it to you anyway. You're looking pretty fast right now. Tracy's back in second. Is he gonna catch me again at the end of this run, like he did the first run? Larry's trends say that's what's gonna happen. Good old Larry McReynolds. He normally predicts the cautions. This time he's like... That 7 car has been really good on the long runs. You gotta watch out for him. Once you start getting to those 38, 40 lap parts during a run, you might expect him to be up there near the front. That's my Larry McReynolds impression. Not so much the voice, but the diction. I don't know, it sounds like something he would say. I'm probably way off, though. I don't watch enough live NASCAR. I'm usually, uh, preoccupied on Sundays. But I should watch more. End up just watching highlights a lot of the time. There's something a lot really fun about catching a race live, knowing that you're watching the history be made in the moment, even if it is just a standard race that doesn't really impact much. It goes into the history books. Trace is on his way to me. In fact, he's uh, getting closer sooner than the first run, I think. He's going to be tough to beat here today, because he has proven that he is going to be near the front when it matters most at the end of a run. So, I am pretty concerned. But heck, if I get P2, I am still so happy with that. I'm not the win or bust type. I'll take a P2. Obviously, I'm going to try to win the thing. It's not the end of the world if I get a E2 in such a strong field. So many fast guys here. Not be upset. 1.6 back to third. So that's still a little bit more comfortable. But still some time in this round to go. I wonder if I can uh, go a little bit faster into the pits this time. It felt like I lost a little bit on green flag pit stops that first time through. I think I kind of went a little babyish into the into the entry pit road. I lost some time there. This is uh, point six back. Still ten laps until it's when I wanted to pit. He might get around me before we even do the pit stop, which would not be a good look for me and my chances. That traffic coming up. Still a bit of ways though. Too far off the track that time. That was not a good corner. This is an impressive driver, man. He, I think he said he hadn't even run these cars much at all, if at all, before doing this league. He wasn't even originally planning to do anything but the short tracks, I think he said. He has been a fierce competitor here and probably going to go come take the lead from me. It's very impressive to enter unfamiliar territory like that. P2 
happy for the win. I mean, there's a reason he's got 7.8k I rating, according to Reese Lab here. I mean, there's you don't get that by accident. Missed my angle in the corner there. Kind of worked out, though. A little higher up the track, got it faster. It was probably worse. I'm going to try to hold him up if he gets here. I'm not going to just give it to him. This close to coming to pit stops. I'd like to uh, slow his progression forward if I can at all, but I don't think there's going to be much I can do about it. If he indeed has much more grip than I do. Still six laps before I plan to pit. Hands numb. That's great. Left hand is numb. I think I just gotta stay lower on exit. That gave me a little bit, that lap. Hey, car pitting this lap. Guys heading in. Undercutting that 125 estimate a bit. I'm going for. It'll be interesting to see if he actually even tries to pass me, or if he's going to plan on doing that on pit road if he can. Torpedoing the clock. The undercut worked for him last time for sure. Before the caution reset us. Keeping an eye back there to see if he uh, makes a, a dive to pit road. Pit next lap. Might let him go here, just so uh, he doesn't hit at the same time as me. Yep. Uh, do what do we do? What do we do? I think I tell him pitting. Pitting in here. I'm pitting in. Just kidding, I'm not fitting. <laughs> I absolutely can't stand where it shows the left side. I thought I was just oh, going on the outside. He's going the pet. Nope. So ridiculous. Can I get a mic check? That's alright, man. <laughs> Accidents happen. Well, that's not great. Sorry, Lance. Honestly, I'm not crazy. I was just looking somewhere else at the moment. You're good, brother. <laughs> I just wonder what happened. Well, uh, we're gonna fix some damage. Watch your speed. Watch your speed limit in the pits. 
We think we'll need to stop again. <laughs> Pit box in ten. I know I waited. Five. Three. A while two, to tell them. But... One. Right here. One forty-five three. Surprisingly not as bad. We'll fix this. You know, we still got a lot of laps to go, so... We'll still get what we can. We'll fix this rust bucket. Did I come up too much, maybe? Maybe I came up too much. We'll see. No, we were on the white line. He's kind of hit us. It's not even the first time he's done that. Thought I was just casually on on the outside of him, didn't think that the part of the left side stuck out. Oh, we're not going to be competing for the win anymore, but we'll see what we can get. See how damaged the car is. Got the tires on this thing. Got the fuel we need. And he'll be low. Here we get to where we need to be. <laughs> there are people here. Running in the back of them. Okay, so. Back at it. Um, do we pit again? Fix more damage. We might. I think we do. Just real quick. No oh, Teros, I like this one. It's still clean. We'll come in and pit. Lose one spot. We'll be behind the lap cars, but it doesn't really matter. I think it's gonna be more important to get more stuff fixed. One to go, next time by. Race cars coming in this lap. Look out for the pit speed limit. Just gonna fix as much as we can real quick. Make sure it's No, no fuel. Get that. Nonsense out of here. Pit box team, 10. Darn you, auto fuel. 5, 3, 2, 1. Right Just here. get a tiny bit more. Keep the engine on. I said keep the engine on. I was revving it. Jesus. I hate that it does that. Alright, I thought I got everybody by. Oh, come on, guys. Let's get it. Carries off. Time to do your job. Alright, we're not quite there, but we are going to have momentum, so we'll be right up on them. D23. Sorry I made you have to wait for me, Bryce. I was just trying to get as much damage fixed as possible. Gonna go. Why are all these lap cars up here? Careful. Because of all the wave around people. They had to go behind them. Oh, yeah, that's true. That was a bunch of points. Car outside. Clear outside if you want it. Gap to park up ahead is now outside. Kind of low. Good. Somebody below the apron. Oh my god, what is happening there? Go 
outside. Where are we going? Oh my goodness. It's very scary. We're good though. So I haven't really been able to look at the new plan here. We got 68. Four. One sixty-four, I guess. Is that about right? I'm not as concerned with it anymore about being completely optimal because uh, being in a crash is not necessarily optimal. So <laughs> we're just gonna try to get back what we can. Up on the twenty three. Yeah, I'm trying to improve it. This is good. Let's see if we can go. I kind of lost my rod getting sideways there. Got a little bit too aggressive on turning left on exit, trying to get the run on him. It feels like I'm maybe a little bit slower on the straightaways. Maybe. Maybe I'm wrong. That doesn't feel too bad, but yeah, it definitely feels like we're not getting the runs we should be getting. Outside. Outside, clear. Get around the 23. I didn't get the chance to see if my uh, I was down on power. I don't think we took any big hits to the front though, so I don't think we should. Ben, but one minute of damage is not great. Probably some severe arrow damage hurting us on the straightaways. I'm pushing hard, just because what else am I going to do, I guess? Have some fun <laughs> driving the car, I suppose. Hey, you can have it in one coat. Let's get up to me. Outside. Outside is clear. Thanks, man. Yeah, no problem. Alright, so he's nice to us, gives it to us. Hopefully I'm not slow in front of him or anything. Oh, some wall from Warren, I think. Saw some sparks. I expect to catch him so quick on exit. Not quite there, but it looks like he leaves it open for us. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear outside if you want it. In another spot. Hey, this is fun though. Working through the field, that's always pretty fun. So even if we're not up front anymore, there's enjoyment to be had here. Looking at the bright side. Sorry, Jed. 60 to go. That was a .7. Not gonna check out. I still want to try to get a good finish. 
means I still got to do my very best, hit my marks and all that good stuff. Tell I'm off pace. Down the straightaways though, he catches me all the way down the front stretch. It's really hurting us. I hope our temperatures aren't going to go bad. Yep. Yep. Put this up just in case. Looks like we're good though. I'll see if it's rising. This could be useful to know. Ugh, that's loose. I'm looking at my data instead of the road, and that's what happens. It's diving it on me. 20th. I prefer that didn't happen, but it's okay. I'm sure he's frustrated at having to follow me when I've got damage. Watch as he drives away from me. About a car length down the straight, straight away, maybe about half, half a car length. But a half car length, one straight away, is a full car length every single lap. That's a lot of lost time. I think we're going to be moving forward too much more. 21st is looking like where we're at. Chad pitting in. Grace is still P2, so he apparently didn't get much damage from my rear end. At least I, uh, I didn't come up off the white line when I was pitting, because I was concerned about that. In the Im initial aftermath, I'm like, oh shoot, did I do a Quinn Half hit from the top lane or something? I knew it wasn't that bad, but it's like, did I hit from middle lane? Do bad stuff? or It looked like I was pretty close to that white line. At least he just ran into the back of me. Like I said, accidents happen. Made it for the great team. We had a good car today, but I'll move on to next week. Blah 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 blah, so on. Thank you. I'm just trying to pack the corner up a little bit more. 23 is coming up on us again. Arrow damage is just ruining us, man. I was able to push really hard early in the run. Kind of move forward a bit, but the uh, aero damage we have is just proving to be too much now. What do we do? I think we pit early so we can fix a little bit more damage even. I mean, we're not going to sit there in the pits. Maybe a couple more seconds. I don't know. What is? What do we do? I think there's no good answer anymore. It's fast now. Alright. Let's go, let's go. Pushing up a bit. Three and four here. I'm not going to try to pass him again, though. I mean, I'm not even going to have a chance. He's going to drive away right now, but... Our temperatures are fine. I'm going to get rid of that.
Just, uh... Arrow damage dragging us backwards. Not my fave. Outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear outside. Ten minutes of fuel remaining. Come in one sixty five, I guess. We'll just do it right about in the middle. Not really any strategy that's gonna dig us out of this hole. Except maybe catching a caution? I don't know. Do we go along? Not gonna think about it too much. There's nothing we can really do with this hand we've been dealt. Probably get ourselves a 20th to 30th place finish here tonight. It's just so... It's just too darn bad. I think we had a pretty good chance of at least the top two. I think Tracy probably had us. Just because he was so much better long. But uh, you got us alright. <laughs> Am I right, fellas? much uh, excitement going on anymore though. Not really going for a win. Don't really have anyone around us at the moment. Nick King might end up coming back to us. Like the other guys did. See how that ends up. We'll try to get as much as we can. I mean just look at uh, the Truck and IS series. I won the regular season championship by one point. And it was a battle during the last race of the regular season at Richmond, fighting off for a spot, a spot that at the time didn't seem too consequential, it was that spot that clinched it for me. So you gotta fight for every position in these uh, standings. Oh boy, 23 really get loose. Mowed some lawn there for a second. The car feels fine, it has a lot to do with the fact that we're underpowered though, I think. Or, you know, not underpowered, but just going, entering the corner slowly and all that. A lot easier to uh, save the right front when you're entering the corner. Not as fast as everybody else. There goes Gavin. He's heading into the pits a little early. He has not been dissuaded by getting caught pitting early the other time. Pitting a flat, Brian. Nick, pitting behind us. Hi, right man. Thank you. I'm pitting. We'll say it's uh, it's really great to have had the success we've had in this series so far. Because things like tonight can happen. You can have a good run going, and then just something out of your control happens. And that's just racing. So to be able to. Okay. Write down those results in ink, permanent marker. To clinch that is not to be understated. Very thankful to be able to have pulled those finishes off. Is pressure tires coming up on us behind? Let's see. They are... Maybe? This is 139 is when he pit. A little confused at that pit time. Ten laps after we... 
Oh, it's weird. Let's see if we catch any of these guys spinning on the pit road or something. Uh, we're coming in lap, uh, lap 164. We'll say 164. We'll do one lap earlier. John there. Clear. Interestingly, I'm not going to take his lane up there just in case I lift off earlier than he expects. Even though we were clear. Didn't quite want to go for it. Got head pitting. I don't feel like I'm going long. Yeah, I'm coming up. I'll give you the bottom here. Clear inside. Clayton coming as well. Inside. On the lane. Clear inside. The car inside. Clear inside. Okay, we're gonna be pitting this lap. The code of that was off. The car behind you pitting. I really had to throw that one. Oh shoot, someone coming fast. I'm gonna be pitting in here, pitting in. I'm scared. No one hit me. You Wilkers. Get on the pit road good that time. All is well. Everything checked as needed. Oh, come on. Too far back, my butt. Alright, 65, 63. That's probably not relevant to anybody, though, because my circumstances with my car are a little different, so. Variables. It's, uh. Let's try to get one more this time. We gotta hope some people maybe sped if we wanna gain any more spots, I think. The lead is bidding now. John. Twenty pit in the time. Tyler is leading. He's just now pitting though. I guess I can't really <laughs> can't really look at that too much since pit stops are going on. We'll see how it cycles out. The lead is bidding now. Just gonna see who's winning. Now it's not a really good time to figure that out. Okay, Colton, the next car is slow. Heads up, is a car exit in the pits. Ankle's kind of hurting. Long race. The quickest right now, that lap time was 30.0. This lap for header, 29.7. Outside. Clear outside if you want it. So we are P23 right now. I don't know if anybody else is still cycling out or not. Could be. I think the six. Sorry, Chuck. Sorry. It's all good. Oh no! It's in the grass. Slow car down low. Twenty oh high. Oh no! It's Tyler. He was having a great run, as far as I know. 
in the lead for a second. Chuck out of it. What happened? They must have gotten together in some way, shape, or form. We need to pass now, but he'll pass us again later. Because of our uh, arrow issue. In fact, he'll probably do it now. Nope, backs off. But, yeah, he's going to pass us again later. He's got too much uh, aero damage holding me back. I might be able to get some speed out of the car now because I've got the fresh tires and I can really uh, push it to the limit in the corners, but once the tires get less grippy and... Brandon, you really got to pick a lane when someone's coming up that fast and chose metal. I don't know who almost ran you over. Yeah, I didn't realize you were coming that fast. Man. I seen you coming there and then just look back up again, you're right there. We're on the top 20, actually. Like I said, I think we're going to fall back more. But, feels good for now. And you know what? We're going to get lots of bonus points here today still, too. Our early efforts will not have gone to waste. We've got a lap lead. Probably not most laps led. That could be close, depending on who's leading right now. I could go to Tracy. Mitch got his laps led, though. Tracy's going to go to the lead, looks like, after that. Very good. Six coming up on us. He's got three lap fresher tires and presumably no damage. So he shouldn't have much trouble getting by us. Thanks, Nick. Yeah, no problem. I gotta try to save fuel now. How close to me? I'm one lap short right now. Uh, okay, you short on fuel? Yeah, it's stupid auto fuel. I hate it. Six is alongside us now. Come on by. Clear inside. Thanks for giving me the bottom there. There you go. That'll be P20 for us. Drive away. It's so sad. It makes me sad. At least I can kind of lead foot it a little bit more, like my instinct wants me to do. Just like I can, I can get away with it more. Actually, P19 still. I'm not sure how that happened. King we're coming up on. We've got much fresher tires. So is that going to be a real spot for us? Maybe. We're ahead of them before. It's Tyler. We had an issue. I'll give him the bottom here. He's going to get there anyway. Higher the track than I expected. That got close. Closer than I wanted. Just wanted to file in behind him. off the pace. That was kind of weird. Like he dropped anchor mid-corner. It's probably just letting guys by. As I kind of anticipated, John behind us caught back up. He'll get around us again. The 
Just hope he's patient with it and waits to get alongside so there's no dangerous situation. Should be enough for him to get alongside me now. No, maybe not. You've just done it. Thought he'd have a much zero. bigger run than that. Go to Augustine ahead is increasing. It's now 1.1 seconds. It'd be cool to, feel, uh, to finish inside the top 20 still. I predicted 20th to 30th, but then that was before, I guess, Chuck left. Up here, getting really loose for some reason. Inside, pretty wide. Three right wide. Now, for wide. Reasons unknown. Oh, Mitch, coming back, gaining and stuff. You're on the bottom. Three wide. Outside. All right, three that was weird. Clear. Had to keep it low because I think somebody was in the wall. Mitch is flying, yeah. I just got the wall in the straightaway behind us. We're not gonna hold him off by any means, but it's taking him a bit to get around us. Something happened with the 23, I'm not sure what. I think Mitch had to do evasive maneuvers though. Can he catch the 23? He's only got two lap older tires. Car ahead is Park. Your last lap time was at 31.4. Well, we'll be coming to 16 to go, P20. On the higher end of where I thought I'd finish. So I'm feeling okay about our recovery here. More of a salvage job than a recovery, I guess. Our salvaging that we're doing here. Get the best we can. I'm sorry, you know, I wasn't trying to get into your left right there. You get us. You have the bottom right there. We've had left rears gotten into. Yeah, I was definitely trying to send it in there. That might have been too much of a send though. It's probably on me. Twenty-three pushing up a little bit ahead. Whoa! Did he just put him in the wall? Oh my goodness! P19. The lap time was at that was interesting. Yellow the yellow. Single file. Pit road is closed. I'm so sorry. I was trying to hang on to it. We think. Yeah, no, that's okay. Enough. Well, we're already in the back, so we'll take our last set of tires. Or is it last? It is last. Last set of tires. And uh, I'm sure the leader did not want that. I don't know. Looks like Tracy had a lead there. I did not want to see that.
You gotta get around me, Tony. And I'm yeah, getting caught up. Not pitting this time by, I guess. Still gotta go some more. Okay, Colton, you've got ten minutes of fuel remaining. Alright. I know it's late, but let's be careful on this restart coming up and finish this under green. Yeah, that'd you be great. Keep now open. It's all right. Larry Max says, cautions breed cautions. <laughs> Hopefully not. The leader, Hedda, is pitting. I have a bit of an affliction lately of uh, ending under yellow. Half that three, car. Watch your speed for me in the pits. three, got the lucky Watch shot, let them pass on the outside. We'll need to stop again to get to the end. Pit box in, ten. I'm not going to do something stupid like two tires. It's Five, not worth it. I'm not going to end three, up wrecking because of that. Two, one, so I'm going to do something dumb. Here. Oh, my ankle. <laughs> not feeling great. 379. We'll get a tiny bit of damage fixed. Still not all of it, though. That's it. Go. That's it for tires. Make them last the rest of the race. Line up, single file. Pass star three. Car, catch star 25. Car. So, fresh tires. Everybody had a set, I'm pretty sure. Let's see what we can do. Speeding? Lucky dog? I don't know. Maybe lucky dog. This could help us get a couple more spots. We'll see. You get to that on the screen? Don't forget you see that. Oh man, grueling race. We've not made it to the end. Unscathed. 17th. I like being on the inside. Happy about that. Never mind, it's single file. I'm full of boogers. I want to talk about Be careful on this guy. Leader's not on fresh tires. Leader not on fresh tires. Oh man, we're going to finish on our caution. Yeah, gotcha. Six out there. He might not have had any tires left. He's doing what he's got to do. Understandable. Just hope that they're able to keep it clean up there. Particularly on the gas up. Well, tires are going to be even more slippery than the fresh ones. I'm just going to lay out some little bit so we got time to react. I wonder how much we'll be able to get back, or if we're just going to go backward, because our car is still not great. Seems like when we have the fresh tires on it, we, we've been okay, but no matter what, it's not going to be going very fast on the straights. Gonna be eight laps to the finish. Two hundred laps comes down to eight. Really hope we can uh, finish it green. Alright. Try to see the best we can. The pace car is off. Be ready. See darn thing. Green, green, green. 
Guys getting loose. Hold on to the loose conditions. Get around right there. Overdrove that a bit. Got a little over eager. Somebody's getting it loose down there. They're in the grass. They have it in one power. Oh no. 16th place. Weird. I got big loose. Taking it. Pushing it way too hard. Car outside. Keep low. Clear. P15. Outside. Still there. Keep low. And we're down on straightaway power. Stay low. There is a car okay. on the high side. Clear outside if you want to. All boxed in. Outside. Nothing we can do about it. They're bunching out. There's a wreck. They're gonna wreck. Car outside. Ooh! This is scary. The yellow flag is out. They want you in single file. Pit road is closed. Good day, sir, everybody. Gavin, can you uh, give me an ELL for that? I don't know what happened. Not how I like the one. Line up single file behind car number 71. Pace car is out. Sorry, I wasn't expecting to check up there. Half bar 25, car. You want the ELL now, you said? No, no, next case. Half bar 32, car. Okay, I gotcha. You <laughs> raised that was the last one. Hey, good win, Tracy. Good race, good win. Gavin, can I get an FOL right now? <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> that was really tough luck for you there, that uh, hit and then that wreck right there. Pit Road is now open. Full course yellow, pits are open. The left side just sticks out so much further than I think it does. I was lining it up with my door. Thinking that's how much room I had to give to go to his outside and go by him. I guess it sticks out a couple inches here, probably a couple feet further. Yeah, we need those dang symmetrical bodies on these Gen 4 cars. Twisted Sister just makes it go out really far on the left side. We get 14th. I feel kind of bad about yeah, that, I'm though. Not used that, but I think I could have. I think I could have checked out for that more. I was just going, you know. Let the two shift up. Car by. Car outside. Car outside. Car outside. I'm gonna look back at it. There were just guys going all over the place and three wide and then there was a big check up into the corner and it was too close behind him to react in time. It's are open. Yeah, I'm real sorry, man. I It was so bunched up up there, I probably should have been giving more room, but with so few to go, I was given every little bit of, <laughs> give, of what I had left in it. You know, I, it sucks. I'm sorry. Hey, at least you did get run into by someone in the back trying to jump the start. Two left to go. Two to go. I think it's really hard to blame that on anyone. It was just really tight. And it's closed. It's closed. It's it's closed. It's closed. It's closed. Bunch of people had to check out. I think it was definitely probably my fault because I spun the tires and got really, really loose. I actually hit the wall in the restart there, so if you want to blame it on anybody, you can blame it on me. I did. It's the matter of and the 200 laps racing, everybody's trying to get the positions at the end. It's all good. Tough racing. It didn't help that the leader was on old tires, too. The leader is pretty wide for a couple of deep. 
and it didn't even uh, call it for me. I didn't realize I had two people underneath me. I'm glad I uh, sat back a little bit because he missed, well, he didn't necessarily miss, but he had two late shifts and I just killed him instantly. The leader. So he was very slow on that start. Is that what happened? I guess maybe that uh, guy on old tires was first win, Tracy? in the uh, lanes in front yeah, of us. Is, but All I saw was three by on. three, yeah, like six cars cool. under a blanket. Yeah, well, congrats, man. You've definitely been past all the other You know, you haven't won yet, so congrats. Thanks, man. So here's your finishing results here, now that they yeah, are official. Well, you've had the speed for sure. It was only a matter of time. I guess they're not official yet until we hit the checkered, but they are going to be this, <laughs> I guess. Tracy, Ian, Billy. Billy, top three. Very nice finish. John, Mitch, Gavin with a very solid piece. I whoever that was, but I blocked down to the apron and put the grass with like two to go. That was definitely my bad. Michael, P7, Alayton, hey, Ronald. It was just crazy racing. That's all I'm saying. I was clear, but it was definitely a little bit late. He wasn't expecting any put left side tires in the grass and almost spun out. I think he saved it though. That was fun. I can not get a word out. On that last little part of the dog wagon, it was scary. It definitely got crazy out there at the end. It looked like three by three there for a minute. That was crazy. Yeah, it definitely was. <laughs> we're under caution. Pits so we're going to come to the finish here. And a 200 laps. Another one ends under caution. Yeah, was definitely the right one to follow through that mess. Unfortunate. That was scary. I thought they were going to wreck on my outside, so I dove it to the apron three wide, and somehow we got through that. I was hoping to get to you guys there towards the end, but got caught up in that three wide behind me. There goes okay, Tracy. Nice no, the short track, I think. Or right, into the pits. Flag, We'll go ahead and park it. Okay, we'll get him next time. Safe spot. All right, P14. You know what? That's pretty darn good, actually. Uh, let me go back and look at uh, that final thing you do that happened. I'm, I'm way back in 120. Hold on. Oh yeah, the four coming down. What was that? I'm not sure what that was about. See the guy on old tires? Yeah, I didn't see that at all. Ah oh, shoot, yeah, I didn't see the four coming down there. And if I had seen that, maybe I could have anticipated the checkup a little bit more. But I think he was kind of behind where I could see. I'm sorry, I got in the back here again. And I really hate how it looks uh, out of the car, because in the car, like, when I was driving, Shoot, I was yeah. uh, right behind you. He was... <laughs> Love this game. Four. Yeah, he was just completely behind everything for me. So I, I couldn't see him coming down. If I had seen him coming down, I would have been like, whoa, he's up. Something. <laughs> Tracy feels bad about it. Yeah, I get it. I mean, you got to go for every inch, because you know the other guy will if you I don't. Really, you know, this FOV works in the game. Mitch's FOV, you can clearly see I'm still behind you a little bit. My screen, I, I can't tell I'm behind you at all. Looks like I'm on the outside. Chase is talking about it. I'm going to take a look at that again. Obviously, very big moment in the race. I just had some proper thing for FOV, so there wasn't all this, like, 
I don't even know what to call it. Take a look at it now. Here's my dented butt. All right. Coming up right here. So what's Tracy seeing? Yeah. I guess I can see how he would mean thinking he has more uh, or less sticking out to the left. At least it didn't hurt him. The initial reaction of it shows his hood coming up, causing him big damage, but then it, uh, the game redecides. Nah, you're fine. Your hood's fine. <laughs> that was uh, what it looked like from his perspective. I just get completely sent around, and then I get hit by Chad. Nothing he can do there. I'm holding my brakes. Thankfully, no one else gets into there. Gets into us. See what Chad saw, I guess. He's just in the complete wrong place at the wrong time. Tracy knows I'm pitting. And then nowhere he can go. So obviously, nothing he can do there. All right, we'll go back and uh, look at the cautions, I suppose. Too many laps to go through uh, on their own. And I do feel pretty bad about failing to uh, check up for the race ending caution. See, I'm like thinking like I'm not seeing this happening, so I don't see the checkup coming. And I'm thinking like maybe I can get alongside. Maybe try to make a move. I'm thinking what else can I do to move forward? And uh Yeah, and like the 22 didn't want to move up top because he's got the uh 71 maybe out there, so he's thinking of leaving a lane up there maybe. And I really have to work the wheel trying to save it. Yeah, that sucks. I'm sorry to, to uh, Jordan. Oh man, Nick runs into him too. Not how I wanted that to go. So 14th. Anyway, we'll go back and see what caused the cautions we did get. First caution comes out about lap 47. Let the game figure it out. There we go. There's some sunlight at this point. Not Bald Billy, is this it? Chad? On to pit road. Maybe the brake bias being back sends him around. Is that what caused it? We got yellow out right now? Not yet. Maybe that did bring it out. What did then? Is it out now? It's not. So we had some guys with issues on the pit road, but that was not what caused the caution. I don't know. Did I miss it? I'm confused now. Actually, you know what? We're seeing green flag pit stops. I'm a big uber. I'm sorry. I did not consider green flag pit stops. I forgot that uh, that's what we got that first run. So and that wasn't it. Steven into the wall. Chad holding on to it. Catches it. Leslie on the wall. I feel like we missed something. I'm sorry. I can't figure out exactly when these cautions were supposed to be. It's too much noise. Uh, got some wall hits there. We'll move along until we see somebody on the lap. 
blinking a bit. Is this a caution? Yes. <laughs> this is me getting hit. Then I get pummeled. So that was that one. Long. What else we got? Was it just the final caution after that? No, it wasn't. We have another one. Ooh, Mitch grabs the wall from P4. Hey, man, gonna hit the wall. What, here's what happened between Tyler and Chuck. Oh, no. Okay, so Tyler just gets loose. Perhaps on fresher tires. Snaps right in front of Chuck. Chuck just in the worst possible space for that. And then I think he's going to call it there. Yeah, especially if he's going to get a penalty. He's like, well, my race is over. That sucks. And then I believe this is the second final caution. Steven gets it up into the wall. No? Okay. Whoa! John sends it in hard. Scares Ian into the wall. I wouldn't have expected that move. Either. understand that's a fear. So, okay, so we got Steven getting loose. He's getting the wall. Pulls it off. Still having trouble holding on to it. Oh, no. Okay. And then, because his tires are hot from all that sliding around, you can see he enters the corner here and it's pitching sideways on him. Probably no grip. And unfortunately, that happens right in front of Mitch, who's moving forward. He he turns it hard right to stay out of him. And, uh, things are looking okay. Man, that, that still wasn't it. He was just having a, a lot of trouble, I guess. And then, now, how does this happen? So he gets into the wall. Gets into the wall. Loose. Turns it back right onto the track. And then 30 not able to avoid him. So finally that's what it was. A couple fake outs there. Because I knew Steven was involved in it. <laughs> A couple fake outs. But here's what really brought out that caution. 30 just not able to uh, avoid him. As he's moving around. John. Big loose on throttle. Wow. Can't hold on to it. I didn't even know that happened. Lots of issues there. 86, losing it. Doesn't bring out a caution. Thankfully on the apron. Not what he wanted, though. He was having a pretty good run before then. And here's kind of what's happening. This is kind of where things start getting really bunched up. Six is on all tires, so the 82 is trying to go around, around his outside, sorry. So you got three by three, pretty much. Four. Yeah, that's that's what uh, started that initially. And this is what leads to the whole thing. So I don't see the four get loose and come down the track. I don't see any of that. And, you know, you got your proof right here. All hidden behind the guys ahead of me. Last time I see... The four is right here. So I have no idea any of that's going on. And then uh, all of a sudden there's a checkup I don't see coming. Because what I don't see is that four coming down right in front of these guys. And he's in their lane, so they have to check up hard. I'm really sorry about that. Um, I just I couldn't see it coming. Otherwise, had I saw the four and what was happening... Definitely would have checked out more like I was saying. So, I hate that that happened. 
but just a huge chain of events that leads to things, and then 22 gets sent to outer space to end it, and Tracy gets the win. Get a better pit strategy than I did. As in, uh, Torpedo, the guy that's pitting. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> he might have won it anyway, I think, uh, with his long run speed, so. He had, he had a great, a great car. I had a great car, but not able to, uh, finish it off, unfortunately. P14, though. Still decent. Still acceptable. So, we will look at the race results page here I'll be bringing up in just a moment. And then we'll move on and see where the league points stand after this one. But Gavin's going to uh, probably increase his lead a bit since he finished ahead of us. And we'll see if we're still P2. I believe we should still be. Though Ian will have gained some decent distance on us. So very interestingly, my fastest lap time was nowhere near the fastest fast guys. You can see Tracy, 29.4. Probably... Uh, Yep, fast lap. It was that late restart. They were just doing qualifying laps, essentially. Whereas my car did not have that in it anymore. Uh, we do get most laps led. All right, so there's uh, that, at least. So you can see we got 131 points. That actually vaults us up a couple spots, just point-wise. So... Still, not the worst day. We were able to salvage a P14, which is a lot better than it looked like we were going to get. So, could be worse. Could have been worse. Tracy with the win. And uh, Ian, Billy, your podium. And then you can see the rest of the field here. Interesting, we had a, a handful of people enter the race and then leave the race, I guess. They uh, saw... We were doing 200 freaking laps, so they were like, nah, you know what? <laughs> Not going to do that. But now we move on to the league standings. Now that we've looked at the results, like I said, probably going to lose some to Gavin. Going to lose a little bit on Ian. But probably, if I had to guess, still P2, thankfully, since it wasn't a complete disaster for us. We'll see for certain right here. Is it popping up for everybody? No, it's not. Now is it popping up for everybody? Yes, it is. So, Gavin, average finish, ninth, very solid. You can see our average finish not quite as good, but we've been banking lots of those bonus points. Really helps out. Obviously, a great day for Tracy. He gets his first win and some bonus points on top of that as well. So you can see the gap narrowing right here. But grows just a bit between Gavin and I, though it is still pretty close. Still only 25 points ahead for him. So, uh, long season to go still. Every race going to matter. And I'm thankful that I was able to pull it back um, to a somewhat decent finish here. P14, especially considering what, what happened to me. Very happy with that. 14 of 38. Pretty respectable. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. A little disappointing, but not devastating. We'll take that. Need that consistency of being able to say, hey, I got in the top 15, even when we had a bad day. So, All right, good stuff. I hope you have a good one, and I will see you next time. Have a good one.